75 days left, Ethan. I can't. I don't know I what don't to know think what to right feel. now. This I, day has been so overwhelming. God. Okay, so uh, we just got back from seeing Beautiful Creatures. The adaptation <laughs> of the novel by Cammie Garcia and Margaret, Margaret Stoll. Oh, my God. Oh. And let me just tell you, there will be spoilers, and there will be feels. There will be pain. There will be tears. So <sighs> if you're not a fangirl, leave, probably. Okay, so we get to the theater. And there's nobody there. No. <laughs> because it's like it's 10 like, o'clock on Valentine's Day on a Thursday night. Like, who's going to come see a movie? Mm-hmm. I, uh, so oh. we were like, okay, this is going to be awesome. We can fangirl together. And boy, did we did we fangirl. fangirl. They probably thought that, like, there was murder going on in that theater. Like, honestly, we screamed the, so many times. I don't even know... And also, there was this really think. serious movie next door, and I feel like they oh. heard us screaming. And, and they were probably like, "Oh my god, are like, these part of the movie?" Oh my or god, is this like, like, why are you, <laughs> like, why are you crying? They just, they just killed Osama bin Laden. Like, <sighs> yay. Okay, so as a movie, I have to admit that it was not the best. It was pretty bad. <laughs> but I'm sorry to admit it. No, it was. But, it was like very fast choppy and stuff yeah they fell in love way too quickly the day they, like kissed passed, after a day so it went from like 112 days left to 76 days left and i was like no you got 75 days left lena yeah literally in one take i'd probably actually rate it like a c maybe a c plus but if we're being generous but we're not but because we're in shock because of the ending that was so Unexpected. They totally changed the book. We need, we need. Oh God. Okay. So that was the worst kind of torture. That was meaner <laughs> than Cassie Clare's books. If you and read Cassie them. Clare. Oh God. Okay. That was meaner than. It was. It was pretty mean. It's pretty damn mean. I just remember when Finnick was killed by lizards. Yeah. This is worse. <laughs> okay. So when it comes to the book to the movie. I'm conflicted because yeah. I think that in some ways they adapted it so well and like mm-hmm. I just the feels but in other ways I was like you left out some major things like yeah. you said Marion of course even if you don't want her to be a main character in this first book because she really isn't she's only mentioned a couple times in the first book in the series she literally is one of the most important characters like I mean I love Viola Davis but let her play Marion let someone else play Emma, Emma. Or the other way around. Let her just play Emma. Because Emma's also one of the major characters. Yeah. Um, yeah. Also, Lena and Ethan fell in love so fast. And they left out a lot of kind of intimate moments between them. That like, made you realize, like, why the book... They left out the Kelting. The Kelting is literally, like, one of the favorite parts. And they left out him calling her out, which may seem like a minor thing. But it was... It's, like, their thing. It's, like, and, Will calling Tessa Tess. Yeah, it's, like, it's important. Oh, so, the thing with Macon, where he bursts into the council meeting, that happened... That was really cool, though. Probably <laughs> half an hour into the movie. <laughs> but it was actually really cool. It did, it it did happen out of place. It Some of the things good. were out of place and it really rushed. Yeah. Um, I do have to say, though, character-wise and casting-wise, perfection. Alden is actually the cutest human being on Earth. He's like adorable. He's literally so adorable. He's, like... Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. And you're just like, like a friendly little mouse who you just want to pet. The majority of times throughout the movie, I was just crying over him. And he won't give you rabies because he's such a cute even, mouse. Even when he's like angry and stuff. And oh my god. So when like she's, he's at the dinner and Ridley's like all like sirening him or whatever. <laughs> sirening him. And, and he's just like. And he was making the cutest facial expressions. I don't do them justice, but. <laughs> yeah, and then Lena, he there was a banana. scene where. <laughs> I, I liked Lena th- th- through the movie, and then there was one scene where she broke down crying because of Ethan, and it was the most heartbreaking thing. I mean, you could, she could actually care. Like, she, you could tell how much she cared about Ethan, and it was literally, like, I was, like, trembling, because I was like, that is good acting. They right referenced Titanic twice. 
<laughs> and they also wrap, they had on the one of the movie screens in Gatlin, Interception, Leo DiCaprio instead of Inception. I just thought it was hysterical because I was like, you're getting off to a great start, beautiful creatures. There was definitely some humor in that movie, which I appreciated. Mm. Cause it Ethan was really a sass like the master. Oh my god, he's so sassy. So is Macon. So sassy. Like, who knew? It was like, do you want some eyes for that burn? Like, the whole movie. <laughs> Apply a sterile bandage <laughs> to the wound. So, it made you, like, Macon, he's not even Boo Radley. He's Atticus Finch. Like, did you realize that? Because yeah, he was sticking up it was for like, his family and what he was, knew was right. right. And that they didn't include Ryan and Reese, which, they're not that important, but they do, <laughs> they still, they do play a role later in the books. And it's like, the first movie, even if you don't, inca- like, include everybody, you at least have to mention them so you set it up for the future ones. Yeah. I don't And, and Larkin was so nice. He, he was too nice. He was not that nice in the book. Yeah. Overall, like, on a scale, like, one to five, five being, like, close, exactly like the book, <clears> one <throat> being, like, not at all, I'd probably say it's, like, three and a half, maybe four. That's, yeah, that's what I think. Yeah. I'm kind of numb, to uh, be honest. Yeah. I don't know what to so, say. So, despite the problems with, like, the movie and some of the plot, the, the feels, fangirl, like, paradise and hell, like, combined, like, it was... It was like seeing a picture no. of Magnus Bane for two hours. It was seeing like a slideshow of Magnus Bane. It was like my heart was literally constantly here. I fell off my chair twice. No joke. Like I literally yeah. sank to the ground and fell off my chair because I could not do it. And I jumped out of my chair like three times. Like she collapsed. I did after the movie. I collapsed. Her on the feels floor. just took her There's down. There's a picture. We'll like insert it somehow. Yeah, we will try. We'll try with yeah. our editing skills. Really it's like, tough if you are a fangirl and you like beautiful creatures, no matter the problems with this movie, you will enjoy it. Because it's actually probably one of the most painfully, like, beautiful experiences in my life with a movie adaption. Like, and even with a book. Like, some of the, some of the parts of this movie were more, like, emotional than, like, City of Glass, which says a lot. Like... Yeah, I went there. Okay. Let's okay, go with spoiler. That. Like, okay, when Ethan woke up after the Christmas dance, it never happened. And uh, he didn't know who it was. And Emma was just looking and crying because he didn't know who it was. And I was just like, this did not happen in the book, but it makes me feel emotional. Did I mention it's one in the morning? <sighs> Sorry. No, you have to apologize. Oh my god, it broke, no, when Lena broke down crying, and it was like, she's Lena. She was so emotional, and it was like, perfection. I know. So good casting. The only thing, they didn't have a lot of Genevieve and Ethan flashbacks, which is kind of a Which, because I, I did like them. I, I did, to know I more really about did enjoy story. them, and yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah. And but they never Alina. had, but, oh my god, Or Alina. whatever you want to call them, Lethan, or Lethan, I don't whatever, know. Whatever, whatever. They're, okay, they had so many scenes with sexual tension and kissing and it was perfection like honestly they have such good chemistry and they're so great and you could like they were like so close together and you're just like kiss kiss they're always so close actually alden has sexual chemistry with everyone pretty much she except for knows. even like, like even with macon yeah and that's kind of incestuous but yeah, even him and him and macon were oh so my god when macon bro when, when, macon, when macon shows up in his bedroom you're like <laughs> You're like, Edward's watching oh, yeah. Bella sleep. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah. Not to bring Twilight Like, you cheered. I don't know how many abnormal sounds we made. <laughs> At one point, we both they made the same sound together. We were both like... <laughs> <laughs> and I, when was that? Do you remember? Probably when Ethan died. I think it might have been with Ethan. Okay, so they had Link, because of Ridley. Ridley, like, sirened him or whatever. They had Link shoot a bullet at Ethan instead, which I thought was a good... No, he didn't just shoot at him, he killed him. I mean, he sh- he killed him, yeah. Which I thought was interesting, because in the, like, book, Seraphine killed him in a big sword fight thing, which, like, was interesting, but I think this was a good, like, adaption, because it fit better as to the plot of the movie, I think, with, like, the whole Civil War reenactment thing. Yeah. But... It was so emotional, because then after Link is like, I didn't mean to, like, I didn't, I didn't know, because he was under, like, Ridley's freaking influence. 
It was terrible. I mean, like, it was a good it thing. Was, it was terribly amazing. My feels are so wrecked right now. And then like. Lena, like, she, right when he gets shot, she feels it. And she's, like, a hundred miles away. Not a hundred, like. She runs him. You know what thing in the trailer she's, where she's running? She's it's like, not Genevieve, it's Lena. It's Lena. I thought it was Genevieve, but it's Lena. And, and it's <laughs> right, she's at her claiming party, like, with all her family and stuff. And she, she literally, like, crumbles. She's standing there, like, listening to, like, Aunt Dell speak or something. And then she goes... <laughs> Because she feels it in her heart that Ethan is dead. And then, and then when Macon dies, because they do the, like, switcheroo thing and Macon dies, and it's just like, I, was, I cried. I don't cry during movies. I didn't cry during Titanic, but I did I cry cried. when they referenced Titanic. <laughs> and I did cry okay. when Ethan died. It, it's just so emotional. I can't. I can't. I, I don't know what to say. Uh. Uh, we will film a better ending. So, in conclusion, <laughs> go see this movie before you see Safe Haven or whatever new Nicholas it, Sparks movie it's is out. It's very much more romantic. It is 1050,000 and two times better. more romantic. And number two, if you are a fangirl, you will enjoy this movie, especially if you read the book. No matter how bad it was, you will enjoy it, and you will have zero, like, you'll have 75 le- days left of pain before you yeah. might even start to get over it. But you'll, it's gonna hurt, but you're, but gonna, you're gonna, gonna like, like it. it. You should read the book. On a movie standard, it wasn't that great. Read the book first, and then I think you'll appreciate it more, because movie-wise, it wasn't that great. Plot-wise, it was decent, and feels-wise, I don't know. I'm numb. So, that, that's, that I was achieved. Feel, yeah. Feels were achieved. Yeah. We felt all the things and we're still feeling them. So thanks. I'm gonna go like cry. Yeah. No, like actually. <laughs> <laughs>